Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 208. In this segment, I'm going to be driving a... Technically not a Viper, but it's still pretty much a Viper. The Devon GTX. This sure is a fucking car. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upgrade the uh, tires on this thing. It's giving me some more grip, so I'm going to go with Sport Compounds. Put it up to... S667, because yes, we're doing S-Class racing, and sure, let's make the rear tires a little wider. Um, and just for sanity's sake, I'm going to upgrade the brakes. So, I will take that. That, that should be good. So, let's move on to our next powertrain series is the 10 cylinder salute so v10 cars including lots of gallardos and a couple vipers also some other cars but mostly gallardos and vipers including my devon so gonna be going to these five oh my god we're doing full sonoma for once holy shit okay but we're starting off at sedona okay here we go at sedona and my technically not a viper viper it's got a Viper engine, so you know. Yeah. And it's shaped similarly. Although not nearly as sexily. It's an interesting looking car, I tell ya. So, two laps around the full Sedona circuit. Oh, careful, careful. Always really sketchy on this transition off the speedway. Oh, hello, how you doing, Muller? How you doing, Muller? Excuse me, Muller. Hope you don't need that right rear corner of your car, because I sure did beat the fuck out of it. Okay, now I just got Rossi to deal with in his LP5 something, whatever the fuck. And his other Gallardo. Tell you what, these tires, ooh, they feel nice. And this car. And I'm sure these brakes are also really helping me out. Okay. Try to get a run out of the chicane. There we go. Nice. I got little scrapes above, like, just above my headlights, both of them actually. At least I think those are scrapes and not like... Yeah, there's definitely paint scrapes. Too busy looking at the paint scrapes on my car, almost gave up the lead. Priorities, man. And back into the Coliseum. That is the Sedona Speedway. <laughs> yes, this thing's powered by an Audi 5 cylinder. Nice meme cue. It's powered by two. Ha <laughs> ha. I made the joke worse. Have I seen Hate Hennessy's latest Camaro mod? No, I have not. Does it have like 12,000 horsepower and, and like can do a quarter mile in negative two seconds. Oh, fuck. I need to slow down for the speedway turns. At least turn one. This, this is a twin, yes, this is a twin mill. This is the official real life twin mill, clearly. Got like 900 horses. Uh, what is it called? Like the Hennessy uh, Beast or something? <laughs> Hennessy Exorcism. Fuck. Hey, 
Heck yes, yeah, Satan Camaro. If it's if it's called the Exorcism, is it an Exorcism? It better have a 666 cubic inch engine or something similar. And before it actually does. That's a large fucking engine. If it was. Creaky chair. Alright, the second lap's gone pretty smooth. I've just been gradually building on this gap on Rossi. Oh, fuck. Hennessy's answer to the demon. I see why they call it the Exorcist now. I see what we're doing here, the fucking good old game of one-ups one-upsmanship in the uh, cartooning culture. By that I mean car at all the power ever culture. Almost four seconds up on Rossi at the end. Not bad. Miller finished fourth in his Viper. Nice. Nice. So that'll conclude race number one. I'm now a fan of Devon, apparently. And uh, let's go to race two. Okay, time for race number two here at the fucking Bernese Alps. But this time we're doing the full course. And also in reverse, so... <laughs> Whoa, that was... Okay. That, sn that sneeze tried to, like... Excuse me. That sneeze tried to fuck off, like, at the very last moment as it was coming out. That was weird. Anyways. Bernie's Alps in my not Viper. Oh, scraping the wall, don't mind me. Okay, never gotta go to the left here. Or face death. What I think of the Osher Sleeven video you sent me? Oh, this is great. I ended up watching, like, Pretty much all of that guy's uh, super serious track guides after that, after last night's stream. P pretty great, not gonna lie. I even watched his How to Ruin Suzuka uh, video. Fucking chicanes everywhere. Hi, Shadow. Alright. Well, this race is going very well. Kicking ass. In my not Viper. It's totally not a Viper, guys. See, it's called Devon GTX. Not a Viper. Honestly, Devon GTS kind of sounds like something that, um... Like, a name that would be put on an unlicensed Viper in a game. Like, they couldn't get... Like, they don't have any car licenses, so... But they wanted to make a car that looked like a Viper, but, you know, they couldn't use the Viper name. Etc, etc. It's like that the guys who made Expand Rally made like a circuit racing game that had the Viper in it. Still love all the silly car names for the uh, cars in Expand Rally, since they didn't have the actual license for the cars. That was a fun game, Expand Rally. Still need to play Expand Rally Extreme, even though I've heard it's a lot worse. GG, I guess. Yes, expand dong. You heard me correctly, Q. Oh, God. Going wide. Going very wide. I 
This is a very interesting gauge cluster on this thing. Just edited a Call of Duty. Oh no, test drive. Was it an epic Call of Duty 360 no scope? Uh, fucking uber skill shot montage. Going wide like someone's penis right now, you dude. You have no idea how hard I'm choding. I mean, what? <laughs> you know it. And one by six seconds over Mueller. Nice. Once again, Miller taking fourth. Take that. Williams finished last in the 08 Viper. I won't take that, bastard. So, that concludes race two as I get one step closer to the original level cap of this game. Okay, race three at the peninsula we go. Or to the peninsula we go, I guess. So, reverse full course, two laps, off we go. Look at them vipers, man. I almost can't believe what I just saw. He fucking damaged his engine with that hit. What a damn genius. Best AI drivers. Still monumentally better than the Drivatards of the Xbox One games, but still. That was fucking magical. Vipers for days. Heck yeah, man. Speaking of Vipers for days, you know what? There's that one Viper racing game that exists. I sure should play it one day. Yes, AI damaged their engine. He hit, he hit the back of, uh, I think that was Williams Viper so hard that he hurt his engine. How you doing, Rossi? Yeah, Viper racing game. You think I would really want to play it since it was developed by Monster Games, you know, the guys who made the greatest NASCAR game of all time, NASCAR Dirt to Daytona? Yeah, the Viper Racing game, literally called Viper Racing. <laughs> Speaking of Monster Games, NASCAR Heat 2 sure is a thing. They really should have just called Viper Racing Rhino's Wet Dream. I mean, come on. When I say NASCAR Heat 2, by the way, I don't mean Dirt to Daytona, I mean like an officially titled NASCAR Heat 2. That, that honestly caught that announcement honestly caught me by surprise because uh I was not expecting like a full NASCAR game to be released this year. I thought they were just gonna like put that 2017 DLC to Heat Evolution and then focus on making a big-ass NASCAR game for 2018. I guess I went far enough in development where, like, you know what, we can release this this year. We've made enough strides. Or something, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it, though, because Monster Games is bay. Because luck with the point system to heat, too. Yeah, don't remind me. Fucking shitty-ass NASCAR point system. Ooh, playoffs! Plus, you know, segmented races. Well, I'd say segmented races, but it's still the same race, but... You know, f a f 
guaranteed yellow at certain points. Shitty rules. Anyways, off to race f uh, four. Speaking of NASCAR, here's a track that's on the NASCAR schedule. It's Sonoma, but we're not doing the NASCAR course for fucking once. We're doing the full course. Complete with carousel. About goddamn time. Oh my god, almost rammed right into the back of uh, Weber there in his Audi. That was close. Alright. Good podium spot out of the first couple corners. <laughs> Always forget that I can just dive right there. To hopefully gain a spot. There we go, just cut off Muller. On the exit of the turn. Yay, carousel. It's been a while. Around and around and around and around we go. Can't remember the breaking point for this hairpin. I was late. <laughs> but kind of helped me straight line the uh, second apex, so uh, actually gave me quite an advantage on Rossi on the exit there. Works for me, I guess. No. I was I was a little confused as I saw on the right, I saw freaking 2158. I'm like, what the fuck is this 2158 on the car on the uh display and I remembered. Oh yeah, clock. That's a thing. Return to Sears Point GP layout. Cool and nice. I agree. Hey Q, you should play droning simulator so you can uh, drive left turn car around the superior Infinion, or yeah, Sears Pointy on Noma course layout. Crap. Piss off. Wow. So rude. How dare you show me this kind of rudeness? I have a big lead. I think I might have went overboard with the tires. Oh well. Oh well. Almost at the end of the series anyway, so whatever. Okay. A little too much to the inside there. Gotta be careful with that shit. Yeah. Scraping the wall across the line. So I wasn't paying attention. And a win by almost nine seconds over Rossi. Just the Noma things. Sonoma's definitely one of the easier tracks to win at in this game, that's for damn sure. So, onward to our finale. Alright, here we go. Final race here at the Maple Valley Reverse. So we'd be going uphill at the start. So, off we go. Around the two sex machines. Around the alley. <laughs> Fucking Pogros. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I got three consecutive nights off queue. I'm gonna I'm taking fucking advantage of it. As far as recording hashtag content. 
and also streaming hashtag content. Hashtag shtag hagdag. Okay, what the fuck are you two doing? With your damn Gyarados. It's always the top two running completely different lines around that section. With me right behind them. It's always the fucking lead car taking the really wide crazy line and then the second car taking a much tighter line. Every damn time. And now away I go. As I fly away. Gaming videos running almost in real time. Oh shit. That processing power, yo. Hey, Celine. Oh crap. We're almost in the grass. I didn't stream this mo past Monday. I was working that night. Alright, final lap. Already two seconds up on Rossi. Oh shit, superior CPU cooling power. I should probably uh, get that installed ASAP test drive. Your CPU is gonna be doing work, cause videos. What vehicle is this? this? Is the Devon GTX, also known as the totally not a Viper. Oh God, overclocking. Boy, you're gonna overcock your kapu. Just make sure it doesn't go kaboom. I've never, like, tried overclocking my CPU. Of course, it's probably at an age where it's probably a very bad idea to try doing that now. Nor do I really care to. I'm fine with it. As is, uh, sliding, 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 sliding. Still sliding. Okay, there we go. Very expectedly easy race, because Maple Valley. So how much is my margin of victory going to be this time? But uh, seven and a half seconds, okay. Well, at least it was less than Sonoma. So, there's that. Man, Miller's just been getting fourth places all over the place. I don't even know. Alright, another pretty easy clean sweep of this series. This time it was the V10 series. Ooh. So that concludes our salute to uh, 10 cylinder cars, I guess. And we move on to our final powertrain series in the next segment. So with that, stay tuned for more Forza. Forza.